Yo, what's going on, Show Nation? It's your boy Matt here with Matty Games Team. And today, tonight actually, I got a banger for y'all. As you can see by the screen, we just completed the third inning program. 300 program stars, 300 Spartans, unite! Hoorah! Sorry, man. I'm all hyped up on energy drinks and claws and whatever else I've been consuming this whole grind. Man, that is exhausting. But the good news is we're done. We don't have to worry about it. It was worth it. We did choose our boss. I'll get to that in just a second. But first, I want to go over some of the first things I did and some major tips to help you guys along the way. Let's get to it. Alrighty, so the first thing that I did, if we take a look at this third inning program, is I just collected the voucher. Okay, I got the voucher from doing the three bosses of the second inning. You don't have to do it, it just helps me because I'm trying to be one of the first ones, or I tried, I was one of the first ones to complete this. So do the voucher. Second thing you want to do is definitely showdown, okay? Showdown's going to be a little bit different in uh, the third inning because there's only two bosses. There is like a mid boss and then the final boss, okay? So what I actually did, I just played at the moment I drafted a team, as per usual I drafted a good mix of power and contact and speed, and I primarily focused on either switch hitters or lefty bats with pop. Um, and I played the first five moments, okay? I wanna say I was either four for five or five for five on them. And when I got to the boss, I, there's a, you have a choice here. You can definitely do this boss. It's really not that hard, but for the sake of time, I actually skipped right here onto the final boss, and I was able to beat him um, pretty easily. I mean, I still had a couple outs left, so it was a little scary, but we did that. So the showdown, you get 70 program stars. So just that and the voucher, you're already starting off at 145. Well, I might be okay there. You have 145 program stars if you just start off with the showdown. So I definitely recommend doing that first, okay? All right, guys, so after you complete the showdown, the next thing you're going to want to do is head over to Conquest and complete the third inning Conquest, okay? If you turn your head upside down, actually, and look at it, it's a snail. It's Gary the Snail from SpongeBob. At least that's the way I thought of it. Um, and so some tips and tricks for this Conquest. Tip number one, use your best team, okay? The stats for online and Conquest don't mix like they did last year, so you can keep separate stats online and separate stats for the Okay, so use your best team. Uh, tip two, use a pitcher, a starting pitcher that is quick to the plate. So for example, I use Tyler Glass now, the uh, monthly reward for April, right? I put him as my five spot, so that way, two things. One, he got really quick to the plate, so for the sake of time, boom. And two, since he's in, he was my five spot, I would go against the other teams, the CPUs fifth best pitcher every game. So that helped out a lot for speed and for the, the difficulty of it, okay? So use quick pitchers. In your bullpen, you want to have a righty and a lefty that are fast to the plate. So I use Robert Asuna and Billy Wagner because they were both just through gas and really fast, okay? So for the sake of time, you just want pitchers that throw fast. Alrighty guys, so tip number two for the conquest is you want to kill two birds with one stone and that is by using players for your daily challenges, your daily missions. Like for example, if you have to play 15 innings with Padres hitters, you want to put Padres hitters in your lineup and play conquest. That way you knock out two birds with one stone earning program stars for your daily missions as well as for conquest, okay? And tip number three is going to be simulate, 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 okay? You want to, the first turn, just play the Giants on All-Star because you do have to steal 3 million fans, okay? So just play the Giants on All-Star, and then after that, just simulate and reinforce, simulate and reinforce. You want to play every single Stronghold game on Rookie, okay? Not that hard. You should be able to win every single game just fine on your first turn. And once you score a couple runs, just fun. Just fun. If you're up two or three runs in the first inning, you early the away team every time, just hold down triangle and then use those quick pitchers. Just get the ball out, 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 out. So that's going to be how you complete Conquest very simply. And the way this map is set up, it's pretty simple. There's one line to go about it and you go in a circle. Follow the snail, all right? Alrighty guys, so tip number three is going to be after you do the showdown and after you do conquest, you're gonna hop in to check out these missions right here, win 10 games in ranked seasons, battle royale, or events, um, as well as tally innings with breakout series players. So you can do two birds with one stone again, and that is by going to a battle royale draft, drafting breakout series players. So I know there's like Rob Nen, 
um, and a bunch of other breakout series players that you can use and play as you're getting 10 wins in Battle Royale. You're also completing your multiplayer daily challenges like hit two home runs, steal two bases, great tally RBIs with gold players, all that stuff in Battle Royale while you're winning 10 games and you're playing with those breakout series players. So that's what I did next. I won 10 games and uh, yeah, I tallied my innings. So I was killing actually three birds with one stuff. And tip number four, or part four, honestly, is going to be the second part of the collection, and that is just tally, or uh, sorry, collect 10 breakout series players. This one's pretty standard. You just have 10 breakout players from either doing collections or on the market you can get opening up those XP reward path packs. Um, yeah, these are the 10 that I have. No one even really that good. My best dude is one diamond, David Ortiz, two diamond, Corey Posada from doing the second any program missions, and then just a couple of golds, a couple of silvers, and now it's 20 extra program stars. All right, so by now you should have a couple hundred program stars, okay? The next thing you wanna do for the remainder after you do all the collections, conquest, showdown, daily missions, is going to be, what I did was home run derby, more battle royale games, and then I played against the CPU to finish off my daily missions, okay? So just combining those three, it was a grind, it was a lot of home run, a lot of playing against CPU, and then a lot of just kind of quick pitching people in battle royale, really hoping these games get over quickly because every three innings in battle royale you get a program star and then every win you do get a program star as well so just doing that those three inning games um that's that's how we got it i mean there's nothing really much else to that by just grinding 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 granted i got it the first night normally you can do this in a couple days a week however much time you got um and then, yeah, now it's time to choose your boss, right? So the boss that we chose is, drum roll is over. We chose Chipper, the Big Dipper Jones, baby. Welcome to the squad, man. This guy is gonna be amazing on the team. He can play third base, shortstop, or left field. He's gonna be a switch hitter. He's gonna crush lefties. And honestly, one thing that I'm super excited about when I saw this card originally was the 125 discipline. Okay, my best hitting card online by far is Eddie Matthews, and he has 125 discipline. And what that does is allow you to check swing um, a lot. And honestly, that's going to be sometimes the difference between ball four and a base runner and strike three, right? Because um, every time you check swing with 125 discipline, you look down and the umpire either calls you safe or out for going around. And both players are always kind of on edge. Well, if you have 125 discipline with Chipper Jones and you do that, I promise you you're gonna be getting that safe sign a lot so I'm really excited to debut this card and if you guys enjoyed this video please do me a favor I really appreciate it drop a like let me know uh, let me know what boss you guys are gonna choose and if these tips tricks if you have any more questions at all about the third inning program let me know in the comment section and honestly if you're new to the program new to the channel please subscribe i really do appreciate it as i'm trying to put out as much great content for you guys and on my way to world series I'm trying to become the top player in arizona so i'm gonna go to bed maybe i'm not i don't really know what i'm gonna do hopefully these energy drinks wear off soon guys but this has been a grind and i hope you guys enjoyed it please let me know how i can help down below and until the next video, Tiny Gains, peace out.